Hey guys, um, we are going to put some animals together today for some breeding. So, first things we're going to start with is some of our Florida kings. Now, we actually already have one pair together here. Um, this is a pair that we just put these guys together. We removed the water bowl to give them plenty of room to uh, do their thing. So, we're going to next pull out this female and again we've already removed her water bowl right here and uh, we got her paper straightened out come here honey now this is uh, icy we're going to actually put her with another hypo white side right here um, we're going to put them together and let them do their thing and uh, we will put them together here. Now you'll notice on our cages we do have these little clips. It tells us the name of the male and the female. Uh, this is our female I see. This is Frosty. I'm going to clip his name right there like so. And then I'm going to check his cage, make sure that it's clean, which it is not. So um, we're just going to do a little servicing of this cage. And um, We'll replace the newspaper here. Anna, you want to go ahead and put some fresh paper back in there? And then we'll put both of their water bowls back in that same cage. Uh, then we'll come to our next female, which is this one right here. This is the one we call PK. PK is a hypo white side Florida king. And uh, we want to produce some more. Uh, white sides let's uh, when we put our males and females together we always remove their water bowls and we put the water bowls in the males cage we put our female or our male into our females cage sometimes vice versa um, but on this here we want to produce some more of these white side kings so what we're going to do here is let me find the little guy here he is down here this is a white side Florida king and check his cage is actually clean now we do use a newspaper substrate during the breeding season I prefer to use uh, you know some type of bedding aspen or something but during the breeding season because the animals are fed so heavily especially the females. Newspaper is just readily available. It's absorbent, it's cheap. It's uh, So we use it. We're gonna introduce, this is a first year hypo white side male. Um, he has never bred before. So we're gonna give him an opportunity to breed with this female. We've already bred her one time. If you see the pink stickers here, that tells us the date she's bred and the male she bred with. She bred with Frosty, which is up here with our other female. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy give it a shot. Doesn't really matter if he's successful or not. We know that Frosty already bred her, but by using a secondary male, we can go ahead and get his feet wet, so to speak. Um, no pun intended. But um, we're going to take his clip, put it right here with PK, so we'll know where that male's at and then we'll put his back down here. And last but not least, you guys remember our female here, Pooh. And we're gonna go ahead and clean her newspaper. And if you could go ahead and put some new one in, and I'm gonna take her out. Now, Pooh here was uh, actually a female hypomelanistic Florida King. Someone gave this snake to me several years ago at the Atlanta Repticon because she was so aggressive. They said that, you know what, if you can handle her, you can have her. She was very aggressive. She still can be somewhat moody, as you can see by the tail wagon going on here. Um, she's, not a, she's not a big fan of being killed or being handled, although she has calmed down uh, quite a bit since we've had her. We're going to go ahead and put her right there. Now, the male that I'm going to put with her is going to be this guy right here. His name is Sanford. 
Now, because these are king snakes, we do have to be careful because king snakes obviously will eat other snakes. So we want to be careful and watch these king snakes to make sure that one of them doesn't grab a hold of the other one. If that happens, we'll have to go into the cage and separate them before one of them eats the other one. And I believe that is it. We'll go ahead and put her, her water bowl into the cage with the male that she's with. And um, if you guys want to take a look, we'll just see. We'll come back in a minute, see if we got any breeding action going on in this rack. Uh, hopefully we will. And if so, we'll give you a close-up. We'll kind of show you what that all looks like. For right now, we're just going to kind of keep an eye on them from a distance. Make sure we don't have any, uh, any uh, feeding instead of breeding going on. And uh, we'll come back in a minute and check the status and see how these snakes are doing. You are getting very sleepy. <laughs> hey. All right, guys, let's see if we've got any breeding action going on. We just finished up cleaning our snakes. Come around here and let's see if we can, uh, if we can get some uh, shots. Hopefully, we'll have some breeding activity. Um, no. Doesn't look like any action going on in that cage. Let's check this one. And voila, check it out. Looked like lovebirds to me. Now, one of the ways you can tell that these guys are actually breeding is number one, you'll see the male. His head is on top of hers. Now, every once in a while, the male will actually grab the female in his mouth behind the back of the neck. He'll hold on to her. They'll line their tails up like so here. And then, uh, of course, everything else takes place from there. Because we are a PG channel, we're just going to leave it at that. But this pair here is actually copulating. So what we're going to do is get one of our pink slips here, pink notes, and um, we're going to record today's date, which is, uh, what's today? April the 20, look at my calendar, April the 25th. So we're going to write 425, and the male she bred with is Frosty. And um, if you guys know anything about sticky notes, you probably know sticky notes don't usually stick to anything. So we like to put a piece of Scott's tape over them. And we're gonna put that right there. And we'll remove this tag that says ready to breed because now she has in fact already bred. So we'll remove this tag and we will replace it with this one. So, so, so far we have seen copulation with four of our Florida Kings this year. So we'll keep our fingers crossed about that. I'm gonna put another piece of tape right here. And uh, so there we go. So we have bred uh, our ghost Florida King um, so far we have bred our hypo white size. Now, earlier in the video, I made a blunder. I made a mistake. I told you that this snake right here, PK, was a hypo white side. That is not true. She is a white side. She is not even hit for hypo. This guy here is the hypo white side, and this is Jasper. So I misspoke there, and I appreciate my daughter keeping me straight. She informed me of that. So uh, yeah, we're breeding a hypo white side to a white side. Of course, we're not doing any breeding right now, um, but we'll come back later and check on them. I wanna look at Pooh and Sanford here. And um, yeah, looks like you might need to uh, buy her some flowers or something there, buddy. Anyway, so at least we've got one confirmed copulation going on. Hey guys, if you like this video, we're gonna do these uh, every once in a while. I don't know how often we're gonna do them. We may do them every week, we may do them every two weeks. Probably we'll end up doing them just whenever the mood hits. But if you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Thank you for watching Cold Blood Creations. We gotta get back to work. You guys have a good day.